Good morning, students. Once more again, here Teacher Collins is around with science. And our topic today is having fun with we instrument. Having fun with we instrument. What are we instrument? These are instruments that produce sound when we blow them. That produce sound when we blow them. Whistle, a whistle can be an example of a wind instrument. Again, a flute. A flute. Trumpet. Now, I drew this one. It's a traditional instrument. This is a horn of a car. A cow horn. It is an instrument that they use in uh, traditional dances in my village. They get a horn of a cow and then they will burst a small hole, very small thing with a pin at the end of it. And then they put a pipe inside. And they are blowing that pipe. The horn is now producing a very big, large, loud sound. So, this is another form of a uh, wind instrument. It's another form of wind instrument. I just drew this one. Now, there are many other wind instruments. When you go to page 68 of your textbook, you are going to see some of those instruments there. Having fun with them. Now, there was, these are instruments that have a hollow pipe in it. Some of them are wood, some of them are plastic, some of them are maybe metal. Metal. So they have holes, like if this is a metal or a plastic, which is an instrument like food. Yeah, something like that. And then they may have small, small holes. Like that. Small, small holes. That is an example of a flute. So, here is a hole, a hole. And when you blow the air from here, it gets inside and it's being controlled with the fingers. We use our fingers to block these holes. And anytime you open, you release the fingers out of the hole, it changes the pitch of the sound. It changes the pitch of the sound. So, this is an example of uh, a wind instrument. This is an example of a wind instrument. Now, some of them are wood. That is, they are made up of wood. Some of them are made up of plastic. And some of them are made up of metal. So, uh, this is our trash can. It's an example of a plastic. Then, the frame of this door or our table is an example of a wood. And then, uh, maybe this corner of the board, this is aluminum, it's an example of a metal. They can use any of them to make a uh, a wind musical instrument. They can use any of them to make wind musical instrument. So, this is called a pipe. A pipe. So, like the example of this one I drew on the board, I said it's a traditional 
instrument that is used in my village. This is a pipe. The pipe can either be a wooden pipe, a plastic pipe, or a metal pipe. And then this one is the horn of a cow. The horn of a cow. When they kill the cow, they cut the horn, and then they remove the marrows which are inside. And they use it to make this instrument. They use it to make the instrument. So, the instrument is, or the sound produced by the instrument, they are harmonized based on the pressure of the air that goes inside the instrument. If I blow air that has too much pressure inside, what happens is, the too much pressure that I mount inside the air will give, will control or will give a, a, a will, is controlled now the pressure that I'm putting inside the pipe like in the fluid and then my fingers that as I'm opening one and I'm covering the other it changes the pitch of the sound so it all depends on the pressure that gets in and how it's getting out if I release three fingers here more of the air will get out out of this place in the fluid than the end of the flow that changes the pitch of the sound. So most often the pitch is controlled by the fingers like in the flute and in a trumpet, what we call saxophone. Saxophone. This one is like trumpet. It has uh, something like a palm and it has another place in the hand that you control those spots just like we have the peg in the jitter. So, there are some of the uh, wind blowing instrument that is made up of too much pipe or too many pipe, maybe five or six. But most often, the pipe are of different length. They are joined together. So, the pipe are like that. This is one, two, three, four, five. These are five different pipes. And now, if you look at their length, is different. So, they produce different sound. They produce different sound and we can see such uh, 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 an instrument in places like Bolivia they call there is one they call pan pan pipe pan pipe which is like this they may put on maybe six so maybe eight so maybe ten of different length. Some may be of the same length, but the pipes are of different size, sizes. And they blow the, the, the air across. They blow the air across. They can be blowing front, controlling it with the hand, front and back. So they produce different pitches in sound. And they use it to give harmony in music. They use this instrument to give harmony in music. So, beloved students, that is how we play with uh, we instrument. When you go to the 68 of our textbook, you are going to see many more other instruments which is being, uh, which are we instruments. So, get there. Just look at the instruments to know them. And uh, many other examples are in your notes. After that, read the notes. Then, do the exercises. Again, the exercises, page 
37 to up from page 33 to page 42. Page 33 to page 42 of your science activity book. Do those exercises and you send them in school for correction. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye.